Since January 2017, we in the LGBTQ community have been in the fight of our lives. But we believe the future is fearless and that the arc of history bends towards justice. So in the face of adversity, we hit the road. The purpose of this annual convening is to bring together California's LGBTQ community leaders and allies to develop common strategies on how to best address the disparities in health and well-being that our community continues to face. Advocacy, which we do with all of you, you are all key partners in that. Equality California is electing pro-equality leaders up and down the ballot. We're here outside of the campaign office of Harley Rudolph working hand in hand with the campaign. We have our congressman who's been here for 30 years just fundamentally doesn't support our community's existence. For a long time we had felt disenfranchised and believed that maybe our vote didn't matter or that the far right had such a stronghold on our politics that there was no opportunity for something different. And I think things have changed. The way to bring a pro-equality majority to Congress starts right here in Orange County. Equality California is fighting in Sacramento and Washington, D.C. to protect our immigrant communities. Living with the intersection of being queer and undocumented has really given me the power of resiliency. There's no pathway to citizenship. Trying to find a job that pays a livable wage access to like health care it's really really tough and there's not a day that goes by where I don't think about my status to me the scariest thing is being taken away from my friends and my family where you are then ripped out of your community and then placed in a country that yeah I may have been born there but I don't know anything about it I'm not alone in wanting to fight for justice. It's all about doing the work. I take this fight very personally. When it comes to immigration issues, that's something that directly affects my family. When it comes to civil rights, that directly affects my family. I was hired in January 2017 when Trump took office, and you know, I walked right into a wood chipper of a new terrible administration that was going to dismantle health care, LGBT civil rights, and immigrant rights. I hit the ground running. Most days I'm on Capitol Hill. I'm meeting with congressional staff and often I'm meeting with members of Congress where we work on trans people in the military, on immigration issues, on protecting the Affordable Care Act. Both the Affordable Care Act and Planned Parenthood provide life-saving medical care that LGBTQ people need. Working alongside our partners in the transgender community, Equality California has passed 24 bills to protect and empower transgender Californians. Okay, then go. She had asked me at one point, why does God hate me? Because God put me in the wrong body. And I told her, God doesn't make mistakes. God made you exactly the way you're supposed to be. You're perfect just the way you are. And she is perfect just the way she is. So why did you switch schools? I don't know. You just... I didn't like my old school. The teachers were mean. Mean to you? Yeah, I got bullied a lot. It's so important to be honest and, and allow your child to evolve and identify as who they are because their mental health is at stake. We know that for trans teenagers, it's, the suicide rate is high when they're not supported. When you do support a child and they grow up loved for exactly who they are, that rate falls to almost nothing. Like, tell me what you would tell them. Uh, I tell them that I'm 10 and I'm transgender and I came out when I was 
um, in first grade. Were you afraid? Equality California has launched our Safe and Supportive Schools initiative and has passed legislation to ensure every LGBTQ student is safe and has a shot at success. I teach U.S. history and government. A couple students approached me and asked if I would be the advisor. They wanted a club that would focus on the issues of LGBT students. If my students were willing to show that kind of bravery, then I felt I just had to do that along with them. When your classroom is spray painted with slurs across it, it had the effect of just galvanizing the need. that I wouldn't be turned around. It didn't matter what was going to happen. Um, it was going to go forward. I went to our superintendent at the time to make the case that this was important work and he said he wanted himself and all of the principals to be trained first. And what he was telling his administrators was when the community kicked back against it, that he would take the heat. Along with that was the importance of progressive legislation in California. Students and I could leverage the adults and say, look, you need to support your students. And if you'll do that, then we can change the culture of this school district. But if you're not going to do that, then we're going to use all the power of the law and groups such as Equality California to make that happen. Everybody push. Liberation for those folks that are the most marginalized is liberation for everybody. I'm fighting for my family and for the lives of every other LGBTQ Californian. The arc of history bends toward justice.